Right, so today we're back for more internet marketplace nutcases, courtesy of r slash crackhead craigslist. All right, first up, stolen switch anyone? By the way, I'm not gonna say the praise spares thing every time again. If you wanna figure out what the hell that's all about, cause it's in every single one of these posts, watch the first video after this one. All right, will not ship this and it's cash only. Already a little bit suspicious. What are we doing here? Selling my Nintendo Switch, it works great. Just needs a dock and cord and charger. It does turn on, was an early Christmas present. If it was an early Christmas present and he got this as a gift, it would have come with the charger and cord. I'm guessing a dock, but I want to find one that's hackable and has everything it needs. Yeah, this is so suspicious. This just screams he's nabbed it out of someone's hands. And speaking of hands, why is his hand holding it like that? Just wanted to point out that the Switch is either sold with red and blue Joy-Cons or plain grey. And this one has half grey, half blue. So this maybe was someone else's that they swapped half with a friend or something. Either way, this is definitely nabbed. All right, next, poor guy. She said no in front of my whole family and it's an engagement ring. That's heartbreaking. $1,200, it looks quite a nice one as well for $1,200. What do they say, you're usually supposed to spend like, is it a quarter? Yeah, like three months salary on an engagement ring, which if you're a minimum wage at 20, k is what like five grand so either he didn't spend a lot on it or i'm getting that massively wrong and that's just not a thing or he's selling it really cheap because he's really sad and just wants to get rid of it and someone could get a deal but yeah proposing in front of your whole family when you don't know they're gonna say yes bad idea i feel like before you propose to someone you should kind of have a pretty strong suspicion that they're gonna say yes especially if you're doing it in front of an audience all right next saw this guy sell a penny for 250 dollars received this eloquent and respectful response when I showed him its actual value. So a 1974 coin for $250. Not sure if this is a joke if you don't know the value of what you're selling, because a 1974 penny is only worth one cent. So fuck off, don't look at my things, okay? Do something job or anything don't text. Homeless people show me what is about. What the fuck? What is he trying to say? I mean, evidently his ego is wounded, but why? You know what, it's a free market. If someone wants to buy it for $250, they can buy it for $250. Part of me kind of rates the hustle. They do always say, a fool in his money, a soon parted, and whoever buys that for $250. You had a fool! Description mentioned no weirdos. What the hell is this thing? Like a chair on a desk with feet up? Is this what women go to when they see a gynecologist? Don't ask why I own this or how it came into my possession and I won't ask why you want it. Craigslist just is filled with weird horny people, isn't it? Oh, but it's on Facebook Marketplace. So this is attached to someone's Facebook profile, which is very bold. What is it? Looks like a patient table for a gynecologist. Yeah, that's what I suspected. Mum sent this to me, Victorian baby yeet machine. What is that for? Again, obviously for yeeting babies. What this man? <laughs> Or maybe when the baby's in it, it like it's weighed down a little bit and is a little bit bouncy. And if that is the case, that's actually so clever. <laughs> Plan C. The C is for catapult. Nice. Kind of scary though. I had an absolutely unhinged conversation with the guy about these guitar listings. Oh my god. No. We're atheists, but our son was a believer. This was the chair he was sitting in when he was raptured. Selling it because it no longer matches our home decor. What? Don't all Christians ascend in the rapture? Was there a rapture and this only guy is the one that got raptured? Rapture chair as well, $700, oh my goodness. I'm guessing this is from sort of like oils of people sitting there. Whatever dude or woman, I'm guessing the son. The father or the son or the Holy Spirit. He must have been sat in that naked a lot. Because surely if he was wearing shorts, it wouldn't have left this weird oily print you know when someone dies in a certain position and they don't find them for a few days maybe he wasn't raptured and his body went up maybe he just died and that's their nice way of saying it either way weird post boyfriend sent me this from facebook bought an extra large pizza i hate crust real so i wanted to sell it to someone that enjoys it looking to get some of my money back pick up only i cannot deliver i mean if the pizza was so expensive that you're like i need to get some money back on the crust you shouldn't be spending your money on takeaway pizza it comes with three slightly used marinara sauces that's even worse eight dollars is a rip that is mental granny's creations five dollars that guy i hope he's pulling a face there because if not i feel like his grandma and grandpa might might have been siblings. Granny's looking to sell some hats for winter, willing to make any color for you. She makes hair holders, prices for everything range for five to ten dollars. That's actually kind of wholesome. This dude helping his grandma out. Now I feel bad for calling him inbred looking. No, it's his fault for pulling that face or having that face, in which case it isn't his fault. Oh god. Either way, whether he looks kind of funny or is pulling a funny face, shout out to him for helping out his grandma. What a nice boy. Public toilet, not this again. We had one of these in the last video. Oh, I know this sounds weird, but I'm looking for someone perverted to help me with some fun. 
fun. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over how weird this is. If I do a hundred of these crackhead crazy list videos on the hundredth one, I'm still gonna find it so bizarre that people do the public toilet stuff. It's terrifying and fascinating at the same time. What the hell, is that a McDonald's knuckle duster? McFind out knuckle sandwich, very good. Can you imagine how embarrassing it would be coming to school the next day and being like, yeah, I got the crap kicked out of me. I got battered, this black eye. Someone did it with a McDonald's symbol. What the hell is this? Monster Energy gun for sale. That is so American. I have this one and two others and I can make a new one. For 25 quid? That is daylight fucking rubber. I mean, surely you just buy the 10 monsters for like 10 quid, build your own. And you also get to drink the monsters. What is it with Monster Energy and just some of the people that drink it just being the weirdest people ever? $30 will whip donuts in front of your ex's house. Got an ex or anyone you want that keeps nagging you will look no further. I have a 1983 Toyota pickup with a welded diff and straight pipe. I have no idea what that means, but I'm guessing it helps him make donuts. So someone's actually bought this as well. I'm gonna hire this outside Chris MD's house next time he makes a video and puts in a compilation of me falling over. <laughs> oh no! What? Psychedelic Garfield? Psychedelic Garfield hand painted by me. Help a girl get on her feet and buy this fine piece of art. To be fair, that is some fine art. It also doubles as a piggy bank. Interesting. Price is $77. What a weird arbitrary number. Local pickup, $100 for shipping anywhere. <laughs> Why is shipping $23? I can't tell if that's a ripoff or unbelievable value for modern art. But I shall not be buying it. Next. We about to put grandma to work. Power chair, snow plow. Surely there aren't things that are built like this. Or maybe there are, yeah. If someone's disabled but wants to clear their own walkway, that completely makes sense. The Quantum Edge 2.0. It is literally just a wheelchair that someone's attached a snow plow to the front though. Interesting. Oh dear, homemade arm wrestling machine. Tom Garrett, look away. I mean, why is the lever going up and down? Why is it gripping like that rather than like that? Why is it so low down in the chair? I'm starting to think this isn't for arm wrestling. Genius. What is with this weird art? This is even creepier. Shafid or shithead. $15,455 for this paper mache looking nightmare. Why do I do these videos so late? It's almost midnight and I'm filming this, I'm going to sleep after, and this thing is going to appear in my nightmares. Or even worse, mid-sleep paralysis, this is gonna be the demon at the foot of my bed. Although with that mouth, blue iPod touch, slightly used. This thing has borderline bullet holes. And that's the front, this thing's been at war. How hard are they touching it? There are literal army veterans that have come back in better nick than this thing. Sturdy as hell vintage bedroom set. I guess he's proving that it's sturdy, but what is with these people that model with their things? I guess it's more eye-catching, but when you're a model that looks like this, See, if I'm a single woman and I want to buy a vintage bedroom set, I'm not going to go to this guy's house to pick it up because he might murder me. $10 brownies for sale. That. <laughs> I could have sworn we outlawed this in the 1800s. That was so inevitable. I can't believe such an important archaeological find was posted on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, what's this? And it's a butt plug. Brilliant. Religious artifact, $50. Alright, we've gotten to the point where nothing makes sense anymore, so I think it's time to put an end to this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe so you can catch the next one. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye!